Hi, uh, we are at Sikandarpur City Forest, which is a collaboration between uh, GMDA and I am Gurgaon. And we are sitting on the rocks here, Quadzite Rocks. My name is Vijay and I am a rewilder. I look at degraded landscapes and try to convert them into what their original state in recent part, past has been. I have now been interested in forest and landscape conservation for more than two decades. Um, I used to work for an organization in Delhi called Wildlife Trust of India, looking at various projects in the country on bear conservation to habitat conservation uh, to people's livelihood uh, and how it could be a win-win situation for conservation and people. At least 50 species of plants which is flowering at <laughs> this point of time. At least. It's called Cardiospermum helicacaba. So it's the seeds have heart in them. So therefore cardiospermum. Cardio is heart, spermum is seed. There is another one, tiny one here. Look at this one. You would not notice it. See, see this? It's a legume. It's tiny, this, this tiny one here. This is a legume. It has a pod, it has a fruit. So, um, then a friend of mine called Pradeep Krishan, he got an opportunity to work in Sundar Nasri where he said we want to create microhabitats of Delhi region. So we started working on it at Sundar Nasri. And after that, um, in 2011, I started my work at Arabi Biodiversity Park. So Arabi Biodiversity Park was a, it was also my first independent journey into rewilding. And uh, I'm Gurgaon was a very good partner to work with, and I'm fortunate to be working with them even today. Um, so in 2011, we looked at the landscape. It was a mined land, about uh, 380 acres. And there were stone quarries, and uh, uh, there was stone crushing happening on the on the periphery on the MG road. So what we what we did was we created a vision for this place. We said Gurgaon represents moderni modernity. It represents young. Uh, it represents new India. It represents new thought. It represents exposure to the world. It represents all these corporates who come from around the world with exposure to what's happening in the world and are making a difference in their respective fields. But what has happened in Gurgaon is that it's all happened at the cost of environment and ecology. And you could see in the landscape, there are many, many mining pits, uh, very deep mining pits. Forests are degraded, uh, lots of dumping of waste. All the drainages in the Gurgaon um, are blocked due to development. And so you have flooding on the roads. You know, roads have become rivers during monsoons. So what we see is that um, while the development has happened, the ecological aspect and the natural aspect, natural um, resources were not looked at. So we thought it was a good idea to say to the city and to the world that we are bringing back forests of Arabi into this mining area. In the northern Arabis, you will see these kind of rocks uh, pretty much in Sariska, here in Mangarbani to Jeel Forest. These are quartzites. And quartzites, as you know, is a metamorphosed sandstone. These are about 750 million years old. Aravlis are about uh, 2 to 2.5 billion years old. So this, these rocks are relatively new, but not so new. Much, much older. Much, much older than the Himalayas. And they have this rounded, gentle form because it, they have gone through so much of weathering. And so in the rocky outcrop, you get certain kind of forest. On the slopes, you get another kind of forest. 
So this is um, yeah, so this is the quartzite, mineral rich. There is so much to do, you know, in India and in the world as well. But in India, we are in a we are in a place where there is crisis, and where wherever there is crisis, there is opportunity. And the crisis of our time is biodiversity and habitat loss. So whoever wants to take it up, this is the best time to indulge themselves into this because the world is also preparing slowly, like the UN decade for eco-restoration. This is now a decade for eco-restoration. And it will be more coming you know, because we are in a stressed place in terms of civilization, in terms of Earth's um, ecologies. We have, humans have had huge impact in removing the biodiversity of this planet or altering the landscapes. So therefore, it is an opportune time for all of us to get involved and the young people especially to get involved.